three, two, one. <laughs> Paddle boarding. We're here for the first week of Better Life, and we're gonna do some work today. But this morning we went whale hunting. Whale hunting. Yeah, on the Bagged beach. Bagged a big one. Yeah, <laughs> and it was glorious. And then now we're at the sea shed, and we're doing a little work. And I had this story that I wanted Brenda to tell you. Brenda, what do we got going on this week? All right, so 10 years ago, uh, I think, what, today? Uh, 10 years ago, uh, Josh Dorkin, a good friend of mine, and uh, I sat down and we had this crazy idea. We started it 10 years ago called the Bigger Pockets Podcast. And it, it, we had a goal. Within five years, I think it was, we said, within five years, we wanted to be a top 100 business podcast. It took about 12 minutes and the show was like top 10 and it really never left that spot in 10 years which is crazy 100 million downloads later so yeah happy 10 year anniversary uh not just to josh so to josh but to everybody who's ever listened to a show everyone who's supported us along the way everybody who's been a part of it who's learned who's grown who's been a guest you guys made something magic happen and it's still going today i might not be there but it's still going, so go listen. Bigger Pockets Podcast, the real estate show is fire. So I got my uh, fancy double monitor sitting on top of all my books. Yeah, what does it feel like to be, oh. what does it feel like? This is what he sees. This is what it, this is what it feels like. Uh -huh. I'm not used to a standing desk, this is brand new. This is uh, this is not a normal thing. Uh, I'm trying to be more healthy in the new year. So these are three books that I'm reading next. They're on my, my, on my agenda. Richard Branson, The Virgin Way. So I look up to Richard Branson a ton, actually. I legit tell myself all the time, like, what would Richard Branson do? I say it to myself all the time, what would Richard Branson do? Why, what is it? what appeals uh, to you about him? Ooh. I once heard this great story about Richard Branson and they said Richard was with him on Necker Island and Richard's assistant or whatever chief of staff came over they sat down for a one-hour call and they just went through a ton of high-level stuff and that was it when the guy was done he just asked Richard to answer a bunch of questions like hey what do you want to do here should we buy this company should we merge this thing should we you know sue this guy whatever I don't know they had a lot of questions and by the time they were done uh, Richard was done. He went back kite surfing, uh, and that was it. And Richard owns like a hundred, at least at the time, had like 150 companies. His entire work week was boiled down to just an hour or two of that. That's a role that I want to be. I, I like that stuff. I love big picture, but I don't want to be the guy that actually has to go and you know sue the guy or whatever, right? Like I don't want to be that. I don't want to be that guy. Okay, one more thing. Yeah. What are we gonna do? We're gonna do some work right now. I think we're gonna make some TikTok videos or Instagram videos or something like that. We're gonna teach some people about real estate. So I got my side camera hooked up right there. Uh, I got it diagonal sideways here, but so we go sideways so that we can uh, get some higher depth. And now I can look right there at that camera and I can talk and I can make videos. So what do y'all want to know about today? Let's find some questions from the audience. Number one, why is your beard so much better than Alex's hair? Great question. So the truth <laughs> is uh, there's something called commitment and uh, I'm just much more committed <laughs> to, uh, to looks than Alex is. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching this YouTube video, leave your comments, leave some questions. In the comment section, I'll get Brandon to do on the neck when this posts. Mm. Maybe you can answer some of those on, on, on Instagram, on TikTok. Okay. Is that I a like fair? This. That's yeah. a fair. That's a fair choice. Yeah. Okay, good. You guys want to see how the magic's done? Yeah, let's do one. This is called uh, acting. Uh, the truth is, a lot of people actually don't know this before I get started. There's a persona we put on when I start the camera rolling. Yeah, this is not how I normally talk. In fact, I'm going to take it up even another notch here when I get on the actual video because camera adds 10 pounds, they say. It also takes away 50% of your energy. Big believer in that. So if like the way that me and Alex were talking today on paddle boards, hanging out with whales, if you were to record that conversation and put on a podcast, boring as hell, nobody would watch it. When you're on camera, you take things up. Even right now, I'm more energetic than I am when I'm, but watch what happens when I actually turn on the camera that I'm talking to Instagram Reels, which is, you know, you gotta be moving, or even worse, is TikTok. I mean, people have about a one second uh, span. Am I nervous about the real estate market? Well, sort of, maybe nervous is the wrong word. I am careful because we are in a topsy-turvy market right now. We don't know what's coming, but you know what? We never know what's coming. Hey, uh, who are you? Retake. 
Let's go, just do it. My name is Matt Buck. I'm director of marketing at Open Door Capital. And uh, yeah, we just launched Better Life this week. It went great. We had 300, 400, 500, and as of today, we're at 800 people. What's the goal of Better Life? I mean, the name says it all. It sounds kind of a uh, cliche, but building a better life for everyone. Not just in real estate, not just in finance, not just in your business, but all around. What are your goals and how can you create an action step plan to get there and, and bring people around you that can support you to do that um, with accountability pods, with ongoing education, with events, and just kind of mixing education with the accountability that's needed to, to take action. How's it been to work with Alex this week? Um, it's been all right. You know, he's just a tough, tough guy to deal with. Um, you just have to come in and kind of like prep yourself up to talk to him before. No, I'm kidding. Alex is awesome. He's, he's uh, sick. Honestly, it's been one of the highlights so far of working out here, like especially being part of a remote team. You can be all kind of lonely sometimes. You don't have an office and you're just chiming into Zoom, but meeting up at a coffee shop with, with Alex and just like nailing out the priorities, the goals, like, hey, what's our next steps? Um, it's been a blast. So total team effort and um, yeah, pump for it. Matt, what's a better life to you? I think it's all just like putting your your action and your money kind of where your mind is. Like it's so easy to say, oh yeah, I want a better life. I want to be a better husband, a better father, or, or you know, grow my business, do this, do that. I think it's different when you actually take action, you create a plan down to the week, you know, or the month to do that. I know personally it's difficult for me to actually uh, kind of put my money where my mouth is and follow through on that. So I'm excited to create a framework and a community and a group of other people that are sick of just saying something, not necessarily following through with it. Uh, to actually, you know, taking daily action and, and making it happen. We launched Better Life this week. Yeah, we did. What, what is it? I'm a huge believer that people know what to do, but they still don't do it. Right? We all know to go to the gym, we all know to eat healthy, we all know to drink more water, we all know to go on more dates, have more sex, and, you know, make more offers, right? We all know that stuff, we just don't do it. Uh, and so I'm a big believer of, what are those things? Let's get them on paper and then let's do them or not do them and track whether we did them or not and then let's get accountability on it and that's not just me like there's like a, a studies that show that this is the most effective way to accomplish things is to have that tracking and accountability so i thought why don't we just create a group like a tribe i like the word tribe all right let's create a group of people uh and put them all together and, and make them do that every single week for like a long period of time and let's see how far people go and how fast they excel Ultimately, I just made it for myself because I need that in my life. And so I thought, why not bring a bunch of people with me? It's like house hacking, but business hacking. Is that a thing? Right? Like I wanted it for myself. I didn't want to pay for it. So I just made it myself. Our goal was 200 people by the end of the quarter. Uh, we're at almost 600 applied right now. Just completely nuts. I mean, that was our quarter three goal was that many people. I just talked to Matt. I think it's, yeah. I think it's just under 500. In. That, I mean, yeah, we'll hit, we'll hit 600 by the uh, end of the week. I'm positive. Like it's crazy, man. It's crazy. My goal is to provide so much value though in every aspect of it that it's worth it for the whole thing. You know, like, uh, you know what we're doing the um, the real estate uh, class, workshop, summit? Summit. Summit, that's a good Love word. that word. We're doing the real estate summit here in Maui here in the spring. My goal is to make that so phenomenal that somebody could join the tribe today, pay for the whole year, and do nothing but come to that one event. And it would pay for, the, like, they'd be like, oh yeah, that was totally worth it for the whole year, right? My goal is that the class, like every uh, mentor call we do, Every single one, they show up and they're like, yeah, that was worth the whole year, just for the advice I got there. Uh, because in this game, like, what is becoming a better father worth, right? Like, if you heard one tip to become a better dad, if you heard one tip to become a better husband, if you learned one tip that changed your health and helped you live an extra year of your life, just one year of your life, because you learned one thing uh, from one person in this tribe, what is, that, what is a year of your life? What would you pay at the end of your life if somebody were like, hey, you can go one more year? Like, my goal is every aspect of this tribe is worth the cost of the year of the tribe. Because that's how you get people to stick around. You overwhelm them with value. I'll say that my personal life, I've been apprehensive years and years, like many people, to like pay mm -hmm. for groups, yes. pay for education, Me pay too. for access. And over the last five, six years, I've watched other people do this, and I'm at a point in my life where I realize that I've been wrong the whole way. <laughs> and it's because you said, it's like, what's it worth if you get one life-changing piece of advice? It's like, whatever it was for the year, you, yeah. you got that value. Well, and I, I feel like I may have contributed to that, uh, you know, in my years, you know, teaching real estate and on the podcast and all that. I think we kind of threw the baby out with the bathwater. You know what I mean? Like, we were like, you know, like we were anti the gurus, the like come to this free weekend boot camp and then we're gonna upsell you to an eighty thousand dollar course and we're gonna make you take out a credit card and bankrupt your grandma in order to afford this, right? That that is what we rebelled against. But I think we went so far the other way to the idea of you should not pay anything for education. And now I look at the friends of mine who are like most successful out there that just have crushed it, almost all of them have been part of some high level paid mastermind group accountability thing. I joined a group recently, it was $35,000. Like you can guarantee you I show up to all those events every single week I show up to the thing. 
Now, the, the irony is that what's the difference between that $35,000 one and the Better Life Tribe? There's like nothing. I mean, like, like I legit am trying to make the $35,000 one, other than the fact that all the people in that group are people that could afford 35 grand. So that group, I am paying for access to other people who can afford 35 grand on a whim. But the actual like sessions, the events, the live stuff, the training, the courses, the, everything that we're gonna do, uh, I would put toe to toe, if not above any other group I've ever been a part of. Fantastic. All right, we just finished week one of Better Life. Very excited. Maui is beautiful. I got the wonderful, my hero, Matt Buck, to do good on camera. So I consider this win this week to be a complete success. We tripled the amount of members that we thought we were gonna have. Woo! Thought we were gonna have 200. Thank you very much, Julia. I thought we were gonna have 200. We ended up hitting like 900. So exceeded our expectations, which means I know, which is how I know, no, no, that people are clamoring for community, they're clamoring for accountability, they're clamoring for growth in ways that are beyond wealth. We are ahead of a cultural trend, we are answering an innate demand in American culture that people want. They may not know how to say what they want, but they know they want it, and we're only going uphill from here. Woo.